Roughly 1 million Tibetan children have been separated from their families and forcibly placed into state-run boarding schools, the UN said. Here's a summary of the article. The latest salvo was revealed Monday, when three UN experts warned that roughly 1 million Tibetan children have been separated from their families and forcibly placed into Chinese state-run boarding schools, as part of efforts to absorb them, culturally, religiously and linguistically, into the dominant Han Chinese culture. The scheme involves placing children from rural communities into residential schools, where lessons are conducted solely in Mandarin Chinese with scant reference to Tibetan history, religion, and certainly not exiled spiritual leader the Dalai Lama. While the proportion of Chinese students at boarding schools is around 20% nationwide, the UN experts believe the vast majority of Tibetan children are in large residential schools following the systematic shuttering of rural classrooms. The residential school system for Tibetan children appears to act as a mandatory large-scale program intended to assimilate Tibetans into majority Han culture, Contrary to international human rights standards, Fernand de Varens, UN Special Reporter on Minority Issues, Farida Shahid, Special Reporter on the Right to Education, and Alexandra Zanthaki, Special Reporter in the Field of Cultural Rights, said in a joint statement. Zai's mother, Chi Sin, practiced Tibetan Buddhism and his father, Shi Jungzun, was a noted reformist who pioneered the economic liberalization of China's southern province of Guangdong and was believed sympathetic to the Tibetan cause. While the CCP insists that the eastern part of Tibetan plateau had been part of the Qing dynasty since the early 18th century, they conveniently gloss over the fact that the Qing were Manchus from China's northwest and nominally Tibetan Buddhists. China's communist regime thinks that Tibetan culture, our distinct language and religion, is a threat to national security, says Dorji Tetna, a member of the Tibetan parliament in exile based in northern India. This post received a score of 41,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. As a Canadian, this sounds like residential schools, and that is one of our most shameful moments in history. Australian here. It sounds like our stolen generation, too. Yep, exactly what it is. Shameful stain on our country. This is cultural genocide. It absolutely is. Oh, absolutely. And it may be more than just cultural genocide, too. To expand, there is definitely an argument that this could be consistent with point E of the definition of genocide as defined by Article 2 of the United Nations Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, which reads, forcibly transferring children of the group to another group was going to post this exact thing it is literally the definition of genocide but like others have pointed out this isn't equally applied same headline every year for 50 years and counting whenever people say they would have stopped the holocaust i doubt them what are they doing to stop the current genocides china and other nations are carrying out pure fucking evil the sheer amount of separated kids is staggering. It equates to separating every single Danish kid under 18 from their family. Christ. Tibetan here just to say that this is very different from the boarding schools that the Dalai Lama opened in Dharamshala for refugees escaping the Cultural Revolution and certain death under Chinese rule. My dad lived in a boarding school and never knew his parents because they had to become laborers in Himachal Pradesh in neighboring areas to support themselves as the government in exile could not save everyone economically. My dad's parents did road work, and the last thing my dad heard about his dad was that his arm was crushed by a boulder during construction. Road work in the mountainous area of the Himalayas is one of the most dangerous occupations. Entire work crews vanish in a blink of an eye because of landslides. Just to be clear, your dad's parents were in a boarding school under the Tibetan government in exile and not in China? My dad is very reserved about his memories from India. He was actually the youngest when his entire village left together in the night to embark on a chilling journey through the Himalayas towards the exiled government in India, which he recalls lasting years on foot. He remembers spending time in a smaller Himalayan country, I think Nepal, for a while. His sister who he barely remembers due to his young age, died from the harsh conditions of the journey through the Himalayas. 
I am a 28 years old first generation and I plan on returning to India to visit, meet a lot of my relatives for the first time in the next couple years, and I plan on documenting this and learning a lot more about my family's story. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.